Oh, now that is just gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. I did not know you could do that. Oh, hi, welcome to the third episode in my ongoing search for the perfect car for the road and the track. In my first two installments, I've come to terms with the fact that I've got a sickness and that my automotive ownership pedigree is checkered at best. In my second episode, I took my current daily driver to the track to find out what it was capable of. That was fun, but it also taught me that I need to decide on a dedicated track car. In this installment, I'll update my list of potential candidates for that car, and I'll weigh factors like cost, capability, and the all-important aesthetics of the vehicle destined to become my track toy. I introduced my track car decision tree in my first episode, and now it's time to make some edits. After my day at the track with my Mercedes C450 AMG, I've decided the daily driver as part-time race car just won't work for me. Because of the tension I had every twist and turn with my not-so-cheap and one-and-only car on the track, I know replacing the C450 with another daily that doubles as track monster won't work for me either. So I'm headed down the dedicated track car route. But what? An inexpensive blank canvas that I can thrash and learn with, as well as modify, creating a custom vehicle based on my own likes, or something more powerful, expensive, newer, and shinier, that turns heads and might be a less prone to mechanical issues in the long run. First, let's look at the less expensive cars on my short list, starting with a blast from my own past. <laughs> Mark 1 BMW Z4, straight six power, rear wheel drive, arguably timeless styling that still looks great. I enjoyed my first Z4 from this era and the aftermarket is strong enough with this car that setting it up for track driving should be doable. Hey, if it's good enough for Clive Owen, it's good enough for me. Next on my track machine dance card is one that doesn't get much respect, but has been a secret love of mine for years, the Mark 1 Audi TT. Known for understeer due to the forward placement of its heavy engine, this car is still a potentially great track toy when had with all-wheel drive. These can be found for reasonable prices now, and with some tinkering with the hall deck's all-wheel drive components and a few other mods, this car could be a nimble and fun track playmate. Number three is the E46 BMW 3 Series platform. While the M3 flavor of this car is likely not a truly budget choice, there are numerous flavors of the E46 that could be great starting places for a track machine. And hey, I've got lots of BMW t-shirts, so I wouldn't have to change my wardrobe. Last on the less expensive list is the old faithful of the track driving universe, the North Star, the gold standard, the tried and true, the US treasury bond of track cars. Yeah, it's the Mazda Miata MX-5. In my case, the NC iteration or generation three of this car hits the sweet spot of looks, modern equipment, and price. When I dropped the MX-5 into my wish list, I sort of felt like I wimped out because everybody says the MX-5 is the track car to own. If track cars are like baby food, the MX-5 is like the jar of smashed carrots we all started on when we went to solid food. But what if I decide to spend more money than a reasonable adult should on a car that's going to spend most of its time in mortal danger? Let's look at the sweet ride list. First up, the 987 Porsche Boxster and Cayman. Generation 2 of the Boxster and the first generation of the Cayman come with better looks than earlier models and all of the mid-engine sweetness these cars are known for. This is a car I wouldn't have to hang my head low for driving in between track days. The next entry on the sexy car list is the BMW E92 M3. Hands down, this may be, for me, the meanest looking car in the world, representing what I believe to be the pinnacle of styling for the Bavarians. With rear wheel drive and eight growling cylinders, this car is badass. Maybe too badass for a new track driver. I'm updating my life insurance in the event the E92 does go into my garage. And finally, we have another BMW, the very popular 135i. With similar characteristics, size, and power to the Z4, the 135 represents a great platform for me to learn on and upgrade as my skills improve. These cars are already frequent choices for track junkies, so this is an easy entry onto my decision tree. And sometimes, late at night, in the deepest depths of my dreams, I allow myself to imagine another track car reality. I envision something shinier. Something a bit newer than my other choices. Something a little dangerous.
there exists the possibility I will decide to purchase a somewhat vanilla daily, allowing me to spend a bit more on the car destined for the track. In that reality, I imagine these two, the latest generation Audi TT RS and the Porsche Cayman 981. These two cars are different from one another, representing two approaches to performance driving. Both have poise, power, and style, and they're also both expensive, so that's why I'm probably dreaming when I add these to my decision tree. So some of you may be yelling at your screen right now with the names of cars I've forgotten. Where are the beaters? No N.A. Miata. No early BMW 3 Series cars. No Mustangs. Well, I live some distance from my nearest tracks. So, while not necessary to be brand new, any car that I pick has to be sturdy enough to get me to and from the track. What about the usual suspects I've left out? No WRX. No Evo. No American cars. Nothing from Nissan Z car lineup. Well, this happens to be my list for now. But part of my reason for creating this channel was to learn from car lovers everywhere. What are your favorite choices for cars for the track? Comment below and let me know any cars you think I've left out. In future episodes of Between the Wheels, I'll examine my list in more detail. I'll get into the pluses and minuses of each car, and I hope I'll get closer to picking the right car for me to strap myself into and risk life and limb as I hurtle around the track. See you next time.